Hey, this is Nick Benson, and I just watched the Dark Knight Rises trailer, um, Batman, the animated series version, and it was great. I mean, um, I have to give props to the guy who made that. Um, I currently don't know um, his channel name. I really should have checked that before making the initial video. But yeah, great job. Um, I was very impressed, and I just learned about video responses. So now I'm going to have a lot more videos, but most of them are just me responding to other videos. Well, anyways, I was very impressed by it. You need to watch the real trailer first, then check out the Dark Knight Rises teaser trailer, the Batman animated series version, and it's an exact duplicate. I'm very impressed. Anyways, I liked it. Good job. This is Nick Benson, logging off. Hello, loyal viewers, and welcome to Reactions. This is our second episode, and this is my video response to Ben 10 and Generator X News from Comic-Con by Atomae.com. Um, I really did enjoy this video. It was very surprising. I didn't know about all the new things that were coming out. I would already heard slight rumors on a fourth Ben 10 series, and I think this kind of clarifies it, hearing it directly from Man of Action, that they're going to be talking about it in the future. Um, if you haven't seen the video yet, here are a few things that you might like. Um, ben 10 and Generator Rex are going to do a crossover episode, which is cool. Um, ben 10 is going to have a CGI movie of the 10-year-old Ben, and they're planning on having a live-action theatrical release in theaters, and I believe that's with the current Ben 10. Though I have heard online looking at blogs that some people aren't exactly sure from watching it whether they are talking about Ben 10 or Generator Rex. Either way, I'm sure that it's going to be a great movie in theaters. Um, anyways, if you'd like to know any other news, I suggest that you watch the video, because most of my reactions aren't bad reactions, it's more promoting the video. Anyways, great job. Love your work at Atomae.com, and thanks. This is my video response. Catch you on the flip side. Hello, loyal viewers. This is Nick Benson with Reaction 3. Today, my reaction is going to be about um, the recent Adventure Time episode. Well, kind of recent. This came out last week. Memory of a Memory. Recently, I've gotten more into the lore of Adventure Time and I've had a lot of questions. Um, most of my questions were about, you know, are Finn and Jake actually brothers? Because they do address each other as brother a lot. And you have that episode where Finn is a, well, he flashbacks to him being a baby and making Boom Boom in a leaf and meeting up with Jake's parents and everything. And it just raised a bunch of questions. And um, I've been looking at the Adventure Time Wikia and I've seen a bunch of things where they talk about the Mushroom Wars. I'm very interested in that, because supposedly the world Adventure Time is in, and if you haven't seen Adventure Time yet, you should probably watch it. It's a very good show. Um, and the world of Adventure Time is very filled with magic and a lot of different crazy things, but it supposedly is supposed to take place on Earth, and a lot of people believe the Mushroom Wars are either like an atomic bomb situation of a war or something like that. But the world has completely changed and Finn, the human boy, is as far as I can tell the only human left on um, the planet. Well, not to spoil, you know what? Check out Adventure Time, Memory of a Memory and I watched it um, by because it was posted by Ben Q. Razu. Um, if you don't know exactly how to spell that, that's B-A-N Q I R A S U. But you could easily just look up Adventure Time Memory of a Memory. That's the name of the episode. Well, anyways, pause this um, right now. Okay, you pause it? Okay, now, if you're hearing me talk now, you most likely press play. Here are the big things that I learned from Adventure Time Memory of a Memory. Um, it answered my question Finn and Jake are brothers. Um, he was adopted by Finn and Jake's parents. Marceline is a survivor of the Mushroom War. It shows her as a little child, already turned into a vampire, 
walking around in the wreckage of the mushroom war, which is cool. And it does look like it could be a nuclear accident that caused everything. But that's still speculation. I like to see more information on the mushroom war in the future. Um, very entertaining. Loved it. One of the better episodes. Talked about a lot of stuff. I love the episodes that give you insights on the story and character. They really need to make more of those. Um, Frederator did a good job. Um, I've now subscribed to Frederator. They have little recaps and stuff where you could have watched that and you could have gotten a lot of cool information. Ooh, um, one last tidbit. This one has the scene, if you do watch Adventure Time, where Marceline's dad eats her fries. You actually get to see that. So I just thought that was also a little cool thing I wanted to add. But anyways, if you want to watch it on YouTube right now, it's um, 11 minutes. It's the channel that has it is B A N Q I R A S U. I say Ben Ban Q R A Z U. But anyways, go check it out. It's a great video, and thank you for taking the time to watch this. This is Nick Benson, Reaction Three, logging off. Eighties reactions one and two. Hi, it's Nick Benson here, and I've just finished watching um, that 80s show, Episodes 1 and 2, and I'm going to react to both of them, because one does not have a video response thing to set up. Anyways, um, here's some backstory. That 80s show was thought up by Fox because of the, um, because of the success of that 70s show, they created another show, that's 80s show taking place a decade later with new characters. That's 80 show was very short-lived because it didn't have very good viewer reaction, so it only lasted 13 episodes before being cancelled. The first episode of That's 80 show, in my opinion, was not that good. It was okay, and I enjoyed the ending, but I did not like the first episode that much. But I did understand that it was the pilot episode, and the pilot episode is normally never really as good as the future episodes behind it. So I excused that, and the second episode was actually very enjoyable. I liked the second episode, and it gave me more of an understanding of how the episodes will be built up. Um, I was impressed. I liked the laugh track better on that 80s show than on like the second episode than the first episode. The first episode sounded a little... the laugh track seemed like it was in your face. Um, the second episode, the laugh track, it seemed like it was a little bit behind. I don't know. Uh, I like it better when your laugh track isn't very loud in your show. It, it, that's just me. That was one of the complaints I have the first one. Um, the first one also didn't have too well of an episode development. Um, the second one did better. I liked it. And this is my video response to That's 80s Show, Valentine's Day, the second one. And I forgot the name of the first one. Now keep in mind, this is my first um, 80s show reaction. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do the video responses for the same thing. 13 times in a row. Yes, I am going to be making video responses for every single episode. Now, how am I able to do that? Because these few, that's 80 show episodes, are posted online by that 80 show. T H A T 80 S H O W. This has been Nick Benson. Thank you, that 80 show. And look out for more 80s reactions. This is Nick Benson, logging off. Hello, loyal viewers. This is Nick Benson with Video Reactions. Um, currently, I'm not in my office, so I don't have the spinny chair thing. But anyways, today I will have my reaction for the newest Adventure Time episode, Too Young. Um... This episode, I didn't like as much as Memory of a Memory, but I do have a few questions and a few things that I did like. Starchy was excellent in this episode. He was only there for like a few moments, but his dialogue was hilarious to me. 
The Earl of Lemons was actually a cool character, too. Um, his weirdness made him very funny. I'm curious um, what other experiments have gone wrong for Princess Bubblegum that could also become heirs of the throne. Because remember, she said that was the first experiment gone wrong by her. Um, let's see, what other questions do I have? Why is it that the first episode after she becomes 13, that we actually see her being 13 in an episode, she, gets, she has to turn back 18? That was very surprising. I thought we would at least have a few episodes where you'd have Finn and 13-year-old Prebos, so... I don't know. Um, what are some other questions? Where was Leaf Snail in this? If anyone watches Adventure Time as much as I do, you can find Leaf Snail in the episodes. And so far, I've been able to find him in most of the episodes, but I watched it one time, just enjoying it, and the second time looking for Leaf Snail. And I did not find Leaf Snail in this episode. Where is he? Um, and finally, I'm just really waiting for that Adventure Time episode that explains everything. Memory of a Memory, so far, is the closest thing I really have to um, say a bunch of hints about the Mushroom War and about Marceline and... Finn and Jake. I'm looking for another episode like that. Um, I've personally decided that I'm going to try every week to do an uh, Adventure Time video reaction. I hope you liked it, and the channel where I saw the episode this week, I will talk about in the description box. I'll give you um, the channel's name if you want to check out this week's episode. It was called Too Young, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Nick Minson. Logging on.